NHL Saturday, every game on the board video for November 2nd. Guys, Andrew McGinnis here, Wager Talk TV. Thank you so much for being here with me, and thank you for all the support over the first few weeks of this video. All the comments don't go unnoticed. All the likes don't go unnoticed. It really, really helps me out. I appreciate it, and it helps me continue to do these for you guys, and I have a lot of fun, uh, and it wouldn't be the same without all of you guys uh, showing love and letting me know your picks below. So love doing the every game on the board. I want to give a shout out to Chris Allen, who's behind the scenes, who's been uh, putting these up on YouTube for me. Uh, huge shout out to Chris for doing that. Uh, and guys, today we are axing a couple of games, so it might not be the every game on the board podcast, but there's a few early games. So we're kind of axing those and then there's still a ton of games to get to. Um, but, uh, before I jump into the video guys, I'll keep it short and simple, but you can see the bottom of your screen, promo code AM three, nine, $39 for three days of any of every single sport combined AM three, nine, same price as one day of all sports. You can get that for three days, AM three, nine CFL, NHL, uh, and NFL going to be a really great weekend. Looking forward to it. Let's not waste any time here, guys. Let's jump right into it. Every game on the board minus the first couple of games that are earlier in the day. Let's start off with the Kings. Kings and uh, Hawks going head-to-head -head here. And we're going to take a look at the over in this game. The Kings are number eight on the season in expected goals. Their team's scoring right now. They're off a really, really strong game against the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, excuse me. And they just put up uh, six goals against the Sharks. Uh, and the Hawks will not be happy with their offensive numbers lately. They have just 11 goals in their last four games combined. I see this being a, 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 a Kings team that's finding their offense right now. But I also see this being a, a matchup where the Hawks might be able to put some, some goals up on them. They've been struggling lately. They'll be fired up for this game. And this is a Kings team that maybe just maybe could be a little content coming into this one after some good hockey that they've been playing. So we're going to go over six. Uh, in the Chicago Blackhawks and LA Kings matchup for our first play of the day. Next one, this one's a pretty interesting one here, guys. We have the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Washington Capitals going head to head. And I got to give a shout out to Wash Redskin, tunes in every single day to puck time. He says that I'm not giving enough love to the Capitals. You know what? They have been a great team this year. I think seven and two on the season something around that number. They have been fantastic. They have been great. And in this game, I'm not necessarily going against them. But guys, we can't ignore what this Blue Jackets team is doing. We cannot ignore what this Blue Jackets team is doing. Whether it's been a back-to-back, -back, whether it's been a three and four nights, whether it's been a busy schedule for them, good team, bad team, whoever they're playing, they're scoring goals right now. Team total over two and a half is never minus 105 for any team whatsoever. It, you just don't see it at minus 105 for any team. They have reached three goals against the Oilers, Leafs, Predators, Panthers, Avalanche. The list goes on. And, you know, I get it. People have been looking for letdown spots for the Capitals since the season started. And this team has been playing some electrifying hockey. They're getting scoring from all over. Their speed is really impressing me. Goaltending's been there. I get it. But hey, you know what? This Columbus Blue Jackets team has also been impressing me so far this season. I like what they've been doing so far. And th the fact is, is that in a lot of spots like this, I would tell people, why are you taking the two and a half at a minus 105 price when you can bet the money line at a plus price and long term have more success? Not this time, guys. This is the time kind of opportunity where I want to just bet on the Blue Jackets to get me that magic number of three goals. And I think they can definitely do that against this Capitals team that we can probably say is overachieving defensively. And uh, my Montreal Canadiens, who are definitely struggling right now, they just uh, put three goals up on the Washington Capitals. So we'll see if the, uh, the Blue Jackets can continue their scoring here on a Saturday night. Uh, speaking of scoring, Leafs and Blues. Look, the last time these two teams played, it did not go very well for the Toronto Maple Leafs at home. Of course, Craig, Craig Berube's former team uh, that he used to coach, of course, that he had success with, that he won with the St. Louis Blues. And I love when you have these early season revenge spots with teams that don't typically play each other. It's one thing if it's, a you know, Ottawa, Toronto, if it's, a, you know, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, you know, uh, some of these teams that are really know each other very well, but St. Louis, Toronto, getting the chance to play each other 
twice in such a short period of time, uh, I, I think it only means that we're going to see the old Maple Leafs, the Maple Leafs that we know best. And if we take a look at some of the numbers for the Maple Leafs lately, they've been putting up some numbers. They've been scoring lately. Um, and they haven't been having any of those letdown issues that they have had, you know, in the past and even earlier this season, of course, losing to a team like the Columbus Blue Jackets. Despite me saying they played well recently, we know the Leafs should definitely beat a team like the Jackets. So I do think the Leafs have success in this revenge spot. But when the Leafs have success, they go back to their old selves. And the fact that you're getting a six here, you know, I think it goes to show that, number one, the Leafs are playing better defensively lately, but it also goes to show the books are giving up hope on this Blues team uh, it's been a real tough go for them. Uh, I believe it's been five straight losses for this St. Louis Blues team. Ever since losing Robert Thomas, it's been really tough for them. They lost all three games in that East Coast trip to, to Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa. They're struggling big time. They're going to be feisty. They're going to be back on track. They're going to want to get going here. Uh, and I just can't see this really being a defensive game. So we're going to go over six St. Louis and Toronto. Guys, I got a big CFL play going today. It, it didn't end up being a 4% play or 5% play, but it is a 4% play available up in, uh, at wagertalk.com. Also, an NHL package. You can get all of my NHL plays uh, in one package today. Uh, my favorite plays, of course, I'm giving you guys a ton of action uh, here on this video, but promo code AM39, AM39, three days of every single sport I release for $39. You know, and if you're not, Buying plays, completely get it. You know, the props are going well on puck time, sides, totals. This video has been going pretty well past few days. Just hit the like button, comment for the algorithm, and help me out that way. It really, really does help more than you guys know, uh, and it really does uh, mean a lot to me. But AM39 is that promo code. You guys use that at checkout for a three-day pass, and all of a sudden you get three days for the same price as one. Uh, keeping things going to the next game, my Montreal Canadiens, they are driving me crazy, guys. This team will drive me crazy. Uh, they had a really, really bad game earlier uh, in the week, just absolutely getting dominated by the Seattle Kraken, giving up eight goals. Then they're up 2-1 against the Washington Capitals. They blow that lead and have a horrific third period. Right now, the offense, I, don't, I wouldn't even say, is the problem for the Montreal Canadiens. It's actually the defense. And the thing is, when you have aging veterans on the blue line mixed with a bunch of 21, 22, and 23-year-olds, that's tough. I was reading an article earlier today that was stating that the average age of a Norris Trophy winner, best defenseman, 27 or 28 years old. You know, these defensemen are thrown into the fire with the Montreal Canadiens expected to produce and perform night in, night out. Now, the Pittsburgh Penguins, they've pretty much gone over in every single game this season besides the last one they played. You know, I don't think it's been every game, but hey, they're off a 2-1 overtime victory over the Anaheim Ducks. You know what that means? Both these teams are going to get back in action right away in the first period. We're going to go plus 140, both teams to score. Early starts have been bad for both these clubs, specifically the Montreal Canadiens giving up goals in the first, first or second minute of each game. And I think that both teams are going to get involved. Would not be shocked to see a 1-1 uh, ending to this one. Could see a 2-1 ending to this one uh, in the first period. But I love, love, love that plus 140 on the both teams to score in the first period. So we'll take that one, Pittsburgh and Montreal. Next game up here, Sens and Kraken. You know, I think a lot of people are going to be on the Senators today because all the expected goal numbers, advanced numbers, the metrics will tell you that the Senators were the better team in their matchup Friday night against the New York Rangers. But the thing is about hockey is analytics don't always win you games. Analytics don't always win you the matchup. And the fact of the matter is they're going to be gassed. They're going to be tired. They're going to be frustrated. And even though Seattle's the road team, they're going to have more rest. So that's what's funny is that Seattle continues their road trip, right? They're off a loss to the Maple Leafs. It was not a pretty loss by any means. They didn't play well. And you got a Senators team, second half of a back-to-back, -back, off a game they feel they deserve to win. And does not mean they're going to win tonight. Give me the Kraken, plus 105, to bounce back after a loss to the Maple Leafs. All right, I like this spot quite a bit here in the next one as well. We have the Buffalo Sabres and Detroit Red Wings going head-to-head. -head. Two home losses uh, to tough Western Conference opponents. 
uh, for the Red Wings. I believe uh, Winnipeg and Edmonton, tough goes for them. Uh, recently, um, 3-2 and 6-2 were the scores of those games. And uh, when you take a look at this spot, it's a revenge spot. These teams played just a little over a week ago, and the score was 5-3 for Buffalo. So this is going to be our patented team total play of the day, I would say, over 3.5 plus 115 for the Detroit Red Wings to get up and over that 3.5 number. Like I always say about this team, guys, I trust their offense. I don't trust their defense. They're going to get to four for us, and you got to love that plus 115 number. Avalanche and Predators. Guys, I'm going to keep it short and simple about this Predators team. I, or excuse me, this uh, Avalanche team. I faded them last time out against Tampa, and you probably want to keep fading them. You know, This is the thing. They're so talented with guys like McKinnon and Rantanen, but they're missing half the roster. They're missing half their guys. They're missing so many key players, and it's not going to get better anytime soon for them. They looked good for a three or four game span because they played Anaheim. They played San Jose. They, you know, they beat up the crack and they played some, some weaker teams and some advantageous spots does not mean the avalanche are back. They're still injured. It's still going to be tough for them guys. Um, and, and so when, when teams are this injured and they're playing a team like the predators, I'm going to go with the under in this matchup under six and a half. We're still getting six and a half with these two teams. But the injuries aren't being accounted for, in my opinion. So we're going to go under six and a half in this matchup. Uh, the next one is Canucks Sharks. You know, I think the whole world is probably going to be on the uh, Canucks in this game. It's going to be a very popular bet after they got dominated, and I mean dominated six nothing um, against the uh, New Jersey Devils at home. So forget about the full game, guys. We're going to go first period minus a half goal at plus one ten uh, for the Canucks here. People might say, well, plus 110, that's not really the best number we're getting here in this one. doesn't bother me. Uh, there's a reason why that number is so low. Usually those first period num numbers are higher, uh, but there's certainly a reason why uh, it's that low. Guys, we're having a good couple days in the NHL. Like I said, a few plays going today as well as a CFL play. That promo code again, AM39. Join me the second that you guys sign up for wagertalk.com. You'll log in. You'll get all my plays. You'll see them. Uh, right at your homepage, and we can cash some tickets together. Last pick for me today, and we're going out with a bang, guys, with an underdog. We're going to go with the Utah Hockey Club money line plus 142. They had a hot start to their season. They cooled off, and now they're heating up again, and I'm buying on this Utah team right now. And I'm selling on Vegas a little bit. You know, Vegas had a good start, a, a you know, red-hot start. But... Their underlying defensive metrics tell me this team is going to continue to give up goals against good defense, as good offensive teams. And although Utah is prone to is is known to give up goals as well, they have a rock solid offense. They have guys that are scoring. Keller and uh, and uh, uh, Gunther have been unbelievable this season. Their second line's producing at a high level as well. I think Cooley's having himself a good year. I think this is a live dog as the last game on the board at plus 142 is the number that I locked in every single game on the board besides the early start games guys really enjoyed doing this video really enjoy giving these picks out as always for you guys thank you for watching thank you for being here uh, shout out to everybody behind the scenes at wager talk tv shout out to chris allen uh, for posting these for me and guys again all of my picks available, wagertalk.com, wt.buzz, slash am. Let's make some money, guys. I'll see you next time right here on Wager Talk TV.